Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our ongoing series on how to create a life operating system in Notion. Today is going to be an important one because we're going to be looking at pillars. Pillars are one of the foundational aspects of the Pillars, Pipelines, and Vault system. I did do a video previously on pillars. This is a reset on the introduction to pillars. It's also an expansion of pillars because as we're moving into version 2.0 of the system, this is part of the version 2 expansion, the role that pillars play, and I'll explain that today. But before we get into that, I just wanted to briefly mention we have launched our online community, a membership group with a really passionate group of people into Notion, into Pillars, Pipelines, and Vaults, personal performance of all kinds, mental clarity, productivity, knowledge management. All these topics have channels and sections where we explore them in great depth. We share ideas across the community. I'm super active in there. It's the easiest way to get access to me on a more regular basis. Ever since the YouTube channel has gotten so big, I just can't get to all the comments. So now that's the place where you can most easily access my thoughts and feedback on different ideas across all of these different topics. So if interested, it's at yearzero.io. It's called the Year Zero Collective. Year Zero is my new initiative across many fronts, all about fresh starts, reboots, new beginnings, and launching into the next stages of our lives. And with that, let's dive into pillars. I always access pillars through the alignment zone, and here you can get a sneak peek at the new visual redesign of the alignment zone. So opening the pillars section, and things will look pretty familiar so far. But I wanted to first of all explain again what pillars are because pillars are being misunderstood a lot and it's entirely my fault. I did not explain it well in the previous video. Pillars are merely an organization of every aspect of your life. They are not aspirations. They are not dreams. They are not visions. They are a categorization of every aspect of your life. If you break your entire life, all the activities, all the things you do and think about, pillars are taking segments and chunking them out such that everything you do will fall into one of these pillars. It's merely an organizational structure. It's just categorizing your entire life in somewhere between five to 12 or 15 groupings. This is often mistakenly compared to areas in the Paris system. These are not areas. Areas are about maintaining a high level of standard. Pillars are not about maintaining a high level of standard. Pillars are merely an organizational breakout of every aspect of your life. So areas are the second tier of prioritization in Para. So projects are the highest prioritization than areas, then so forth. This is not a prioritization. This is merely a categorization. Just think taking your life and organizing it into different sections such that everything will fit into one of those sections. So looking at the groupings here, it's just as we've seen before. First of all, the pillars are organized into groupings. There's the growth grouping, the business grouping, the home life grouping. Within each grouping are mental clarity, mind expansion, which for most people would probably be called the learning category. So mind expansion is learning. I just use the term mind expansion. Health and fitness is part of growth. Travel and exploration is part of growth. Then we have the home life section down here, family, home and household, personal admin and finance, friends and social, and then business. Business might vary more from person to person, but most of these will be pretty consistent across different people with some tweaking here and there. Tweak as you need, but these are some rough estimates and a good place to start. Now I'm increasingly looking at this in a different way. So I now have a board view, which is a really nice way to break it out as well. And actually a little bit easier to visually digest. So now I have it in this Kanban board layout by growth, home life and business. But the key here is that these are the pillars. These are the larger groups. In a sense, growth, business, home life are the pillars and these are sub pillars. But I think it's easier to just call the subcategories the pillars, the larger categories the groupings, and that's how we think about it. So everything in your life is going to break out into one of these groupings and then one of these pillars. Absolutely everything. So we got two that are kind of catch all. So in business, we have admin and team. You could break, if you have a large team, you probably would have a separate one for team and a separate one for admin. So business admin is sort of the catch all for business. And then you have personal admin. I've combined personal admin down here, the second from the bottom, with finance, because to me, it's sort of one grouping. Taxes finance sort of lump into my administrative responsibilities. But if you had a lot going on financially, a lot of investments, you might have finance as its own pillar and then personal admin as another pillar that's sort of a catch all for all the little things that you have to deal with. But it breaks out such that everything in your life will fit into one of these sections. It's not lofty. It's not aspirational. It's just groupings across your whole life, categorizations for the purpose of organization. This will help you organize your whole life and we'll give you a window into each aspect when it's time to sit down and address that part of your life. Now, just to make sure that point's super clear, this is a visualization we're going to be using on the Pillars, Pipelines, and Vaults overview in a few videos from now. But I want to look at one part in particular, the Pillars part, and we'll see we have the groupings, the growth, home life, and business under Pillars. Pillars help you organize by life segment. 
And these are the groupings. And then of course, there's each pillar within each grouping. And these slice across all the pipelines and all the vaults. You'll see these arrows coming down here. That signifies that every value goal, every goal outcome, every project is organized by this categorization structure. So the ones that are in the growth categories are all tagged to the pillars that are appropriate. That is how you're organizing everything in your life. And that way, when you look at those pillars, you're going to be able to see everything happening across the pipelines. And it's exactly the same with the vaults. Down here, we have the vaults, the knowledge vault, the media vault, the courses and training vault, the notes and ideas vault, the tools and skills vault. In every case, these are being assigned to specific pillars and organized and categorized that way. So we have the ability from our pillars view to look at all of our knowledge that's relevant to those pillars. So that gives us a master view of everything in our life that's happening according to those pillars across all the pipelines and all the vaults. And we'll get into that more shortly. Then cycles are outside of this pillars organization because cycles are more about time. Cycles aren't assets moving through the system. They are review processes and data tracking. So they live outside of it, but everything in the pipelines and vaults is organized and structured by pillars. And even anything outside of your Notion system, such as Dropbox or Evernote or OneNote or Google Drive or Box.com, any of these will also be organized by pillars. I'm going to do a separate video on that shortly to show how that works. But this is another differentiation from Para. We're not organizing by the hierarchy structure of projects most important, areas second most important, and then so forth. We're organizing all those external folders by category of your life, which keeps things much more organized and easier to find. Because when you organize by priority ranking, which is essentially what Para is, things are shifting and moving to different folders. And that makes them hard to find if they're moving around. This way, they're not moving around. And we have another way of dealing with high priority and low priority items within the pillar system. I'll show you that when we get to the video on using pillars in PPV outside of Notion. That's coming shortly. So back into pillars, all the pillars are linked to habits and routines, value goals, goal outcomes, and tagged in the knowledge vault. The knowledge vault is the centerpiece of our knowledge management system. It's where our biggest ideas are collected, our best thinking, the most interesting insights we've come across, across all kinds of media. And another recent video showed how the knowledge vault is now the master tag database. So we are tagging everything by its relation to the knowledge vault. And then we have the ability to sort and organize everything in the system by knowledge vault topic. It also gives you a quick access from any of the pillars to go into the knowledge vaults that are relevant to that pillar, which is your compilation of all your best thinking and knowledge on that pillar. So easy access to this brain extension we've been building in the knowledge vault by pillar. Now this lists down to goal outcomes. The goal outcomes here are actually a roll up. So we're just linking to value goals. There's no need to tag all of your tasks to pillars. All of your tasks are connected to pillars, but it's just too much work to maintain for something that you're burning through so quickly, such as tasks. So the very fact that many of your tasks are attached to projects, that categorizes them by pillar. And the ones that aren't attached to projects tend to be just quick one-offs anyway, and you don't need to waste your time tagging all those to pillars, even though technically they do fit within a pillar. Just let those go and get them done. And then finally, what I think is the really big advancement of pillars in this new version two system is that the pillars are now entire dashboards looking into that category of your life. So let's take a look at how dashboards now exist for each pillar, giving you a command center of everything in your life across that pillar. So let's look at the mind expansion pillar, which is essentially the learning pillar. We've seen the mind expansion dashboard before. Now looking at the mind expansion pillar dashboard, it is the same dashboard. We have all of the items that we've previously seen for the mind expansion dashboard, but it now lives inside the pillar entry in the pillar database. That is the mind expansion dashboard now. The advantage of this, first of all, is better organized and it can be linked through relations to other databases. Not just a link to the pillar, but a link to the entire dashboard that runs that area of your life. Previously, this was a separate page. Now it's an entry in the pillars dashboard. And in addition to having everything we've seen previously with all of our input sources up here, there's a whole video on this if this is new to you and you wanna check out more about this. And down here we have our hot and cold topics and our all topics which I explained in a previous video. These are the aggregation of all of our knowledge. These are all the input sources of information and ideas and insight we're taking in into the system. In addition to that, we now have all of the relational links to this pillar. So whether you call it mind expansion or learning, we have all the links throughout the system. This adds a whole new dynamic to the mind expansion dashboard. So the habits and routines that we've tagged to pillars are linked here. 
to the mind expansion dashboard. These are the habits and routines that fuel mind expansion or learning, if that's what you prefer to call it. We have the value goals that are linked to mind expansion and learning. We have goal outcomes and we have our master tag database, which is our knowledge vault. So all of the topic areas we're collecting our biggest and best information related to mind expansion or learning are linked right here. Plus we have everything we previously had in the mind expansion dashboard. So jumping back, I do a lot of content creation, so that's a pillar in my life. Not everybody will have that pillar. People have other pillars, sales and marketing, client execution. Every single one of these is now a dashboard for that area of your life. Just so you can see how things are fitting together now that were previously disparate parts. Now when we open content creation, what was previously a separate page floating by itself is now organized in the pillars database structure. And we have the entire content database here with all the production that we're doing. This is shown in another video and it's one of the free templates I give out, link below if you wanna get my free template pack. But we have the entire dashboard for content production. And in addition, we have all the links throughout the entire system connecting to the content creation pillar. So this further turbocharges the content creation dashboard. And we do this for every single pillar in the system. Some will be elaborate, some will be simple, whatever you need. But now if I wanna look at personal admin and finance, I've got a dashboard for all admin and finance in my personal life. I've got a dashboard for social and friends. I've got a dashboard for family. I've got a dashboard for health and fitness. I've got a dashboard for mental clarity and meditation and mindfulness. All of these have a dashboard that show me everything across the system. And then finally, we have several categorizations. We have active, paused, or inactive. I'm going to, in the next video, I'm going to talk about CC versus no CC. But for now, note every pillar is either active, paused, or inactive. If it's inactive, it's removed. It's not even shown, so it's filtered out here. Paused means it's a part of my life, but I'm not actively engaged in it right now. So right now, I have paused two of my pillars. Travel and exploration is on hold, and really friends and social. But I will get back to that when things change, and then that will be made active again. So those are paused. The rest are active. That just brings clarity on where to focus when I come to the dashboard. And that's pretty much it. Pillars are just a categorization of every aspect of your life, such that everything you're doing will fit into one of them. It's an organizational structure throughout the Notion system and outside of the Notion system, as we'll see in a future video. But breaking your life into pillars brings clarity. It means when you check in during your weekly, monthly reviews, you can jump into the dashboard that's relevant for each section that you're taking a peek at. Everything that's related to that across all of your pipelines, across all of your vaults, will be there with clarity and transparency for that section of your life. And it makes it so much easier to see what's moving, what's not moving, and what needs to be addressed. In the next few videos, we're going to be looking at the new command center and the overview of the pillars, pipelines, and vault system. If this is of interest, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updates on future videos. Leave thoughts or questions below, or join us at my new online community for a broader conversation. That's at yearzero.io and hit like if you found this video valuable. I also write a newsletter called Mind and Machine on increasing human capability. I give away several of my best Notion templates to anyone who subscribes to the newsletter. You can, of course, unsubscribe at any time, but I hope you'll give it a chance. I work super hard to pack it with a lot of valuable insight. The newsletter link is also below in the show notes. Thanks for watching, lots more to come.